Folks, Ray PDC, Ramrecker.com here. Before I get started, I first want to apologize if the audio sounds like crap. Um, it is windy out here. There's actually like ocean spray coming off occasionally. So if it's like crap, I'm sorry. It's the best I got. Nonetheless, we'll go ahead and do the test anyways. I've got the Mavic Air right there, and it is howling out here right now. So it is uh, about 40 to 48 kilometers an hour, um, gusting up about 48 kilometers an hour, pretty sustained at 40 kilometers an hour. That is roughly 25 miles per hour sustained, gusting over 30 miles per hour. Um, not too shabby. Uh, and you can see that, of course, by the bushes, by my t-shirt, by the white caps on the ocean behind me. I've also got the handy dandy bucket of sand. So you can see that here. I mean, it just simply like disappears off into nowhere land. Uh, and that just depends on the gust too. So it really goes all over the place. But what I want to show is how well the Mavic Air performs in the air in these sort of conditions. Now I've done this before. Uh, the last time was with the Spark this past summer. I did that in uh, pretty similar conditions to this, pretty uh, heavy winds. And then I did with the Mavic Pro itself last winter um, up in the mountains and some crazy winds as well comparing it to the Phantom uh, 4 series. So really cool stuff. Within that we established quite well that the Mavic is just fine in windy conditions. Um, so the Mavic has, the Mavic Pro that is, has a top speed of 60 five kilometers an hour, whereas the Mavic Air down here has a top speed of 68.4 kilometers an hour, or roughly 40 miles per hour and 42 miles per hour. Now you may be wondering why I care about top speed. In a lot of ways, that's because what drives the winds it can handle. Uh, in most cases, the aircraft doesn't actually care what happens in the air from a speed standpoint, a wind standpoint, um, as far as flying goes, as long as it's below that top speed. That's what I'm hoping to show you right here. The second question is the gimbal, and that's what's most important, is how well it handles things like these gusts that come along and whack it and stuff like that. So we're gonna get the aircraft in the air. So here we are, the Mavic Air. I've got it all ready to go. Um, I've got the screen recorded as well so you can see those high wind warnings when they come up. I'm gonna move slightly out of the way because I know what's gonna happen here is that it's gonna bust uh, this way or gust this way a little bit when I take off. So we got this, the props going here. And there you go, you can see immediately um, it's just kind of figuring out its place in life. The wind's pulling it back here. If I go up a little bit though, Sorry, I had to go catch it. It kind of went flying off. Um, so I'm pulling it back now. Uh, and now what you would notice right away is that it's really struggling to go forward. And the reason for that is that it's limited in the basic non-sport mode as to how far it goes. The other thing we saw is that right away it sort of took off and didn't seem to catch its bearings very well. You can see I've got a ton of different uh, high wind warnings on the screen itself. But now that it's got its bearings, it's fine. Like I'm not controlling it, I'm not touching it. It's staying right there. At this point, it's likely using the optical sensors, the downward optical sensors. It's probably just at the edge of those range of that. Um, if I go up a little bit higher here, we'll see if we can get out of that range of optical sensors. Uh, so we're over the ocean. Yeah, it's still good. So now at this point, we're on GPS. I'm definitely well above the optical sensor range. Uh, GPS-wise, it's good. It is going up a little bit, so it's not quite holding its altitude perfectly, but it does seem to have stabilized now as I keep talking there. So not too bad. So as you saw there, it took a second to kind of stabilize, get going, but this is not with sport mode. Um, so I'm gonna go bring it back down here for a second. We'll get to sport mode, don't worry. That's just way more fun anyways. Uh, I'm gonna bring it back a little bit closer. There we go. I'm gonna put it right there for right now. I'm gonna put this down for a split second and we're gonna get the Mavic Pro off the ground here. So you see it too starts going back. I'm holding full stick forward and it's just kind of barely catching up. Let's see if I can let go of the stick and if I'll hold place there. So it's kind of drifting back a little bit. I think it's trying to find its lock here. Still going back a little bit. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit altitude so you can maybe see it in that camera. There we go. It's not not really holding where I want it to, like the Mavic Air is holding perfectly, but it's doing the exact same thing the Mavic Air did. I'm gonna try to bring it forward now. There we go. It seems to have found its bearings a little bit. Slowly inching forward again, not in sport mode though, so it's having some issues countering that wind because it's just at the edge of what sport mode allows. Um, so now it's not being able to hold that position without sport mode. Uh, we're barely making it back. It's, it's struggling a bit. So within these gusts and stuff, it's not having a good time doing that. Um, so I'm gonna go and click it over sport mode though because, there we go. Click over sport mode though just to kind of keep this and just uh, kind of plop it behind this other guy here for fun. You can definitely catch the winds there a little bit strong. Let's try to bring up forward here. There we go. That's a nice spot for it. So we'll leave him there. Um, I'm gonna leave on sport mode. It's holding his position just fine, so I don't have to worry about him. 
Meanwhile, the Mavic Air this entire time, you can see it's tilting kind of crazy, but the gimbal is perfectly still. Like the gimbal's looking beautiful right now. I hope it has been the entire time anyways. Uh, but from what I can see at the moment, it's looking nice and still. Let's get this Mavic Air cooking there. Pop it over into sport mode right now, and let's see if it can go somewhere. There we go. It's a little bit, uh, a little crazy on the, the going forward part, but there we go. Now we're cooking again, just like the other one. We're gonna do a little bit of a loop here. You can see it's definitely more, well, you probably can't see this, a bit more forward tilted. Um, now we're screaming though, downwind. Holy crap, that's hauling ass. Let's see if I can get back up again. Let's see how fast that was. We'll look at this light, the speed recordings later on and see how fast we got going there. I'm gonna kind of try to crawl back up here. Going upwind, it's definitely struggling a bit, but it's cool, it's getting here. Like it's definitely, it's taking its time. I'm kind of watching battery warnings and stuff here. 63 there, 59 there, we're good. So just to show you how fast this will go, I'm gonna go upwind a little bit because it's not gonna last very long. So here we go, I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna fly right over the top of us. We'll see how fast we can go in here. There we go, okay. Loop it around and straight over the top of us. That was hauling ass. Bring it back up again. and bring it in close to this guy right here for the fun of it. There we go. So as you can see, just to simply put these right next to each other, see how lucky I feel. There we go. Still, I wouldn't, I don't wanna get too much closer with these two because you can definitely see a little bit of drift there uh, between them with the air and stuff, which again, given the winds right here, isn't too bad. So let's go pop these back here We've uh, succeeded without crashing anything, so let's see if we can keep that streak. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down here. Just doing this by hand, a little bit easier. Bring this back a little bit. Sorry, it's kind of in the, uh... come on, come on down. There we go, and then we'll go bring this guy back here. It's kind of a bit more of a tank, but uh, I mean, performance-wise, it's been pretty darn similar, kind of lumbering in here. The wind changes in the gully right here, so. There we go, you saw that as it caught a little bit of a, a gust there. Still pretty darn impressive. As you can see, no real concerns with the Mavic Air in terms of uh, the wind out here. It recorded just fine, it flew just fine. The gimbal seemed to be just fine from what I could tell here. All so far, all so good. Now obviously, if you go beyond the range from a wind standpoint to what it can fly, you're out of luck. I mean, that's just the reality. It can only go up to that, you know, theoretical 40, uh, two miles per hour, 68 or so, 60, whatever it was, kilometers per hour. If you're beyond that envelope, you're out of luck. Do definitely keep in mind for wind gusts. Anyways, with that, thanks for watching. Go ahead and mark that like button down the bottom if you found this interesting or the subscribe button. Also check out the other uh, drone videos I've got on the Mavic Air, the Mavic Pro, all the goodness is up there somewhere on the screen. Have a good one.